Greeting casters or book lovers. Today on Merry Merry Meeples, we are looking at Spellbook, a new game from Phil Walker Harding. Coming to us from Space Cowboys, playing 45 minutes, 12 and up, 1 to 4 players. Become the greatest wizard of the annual Grand Rite. Collect and manage your materia to feed your familiar and learn your spells. Act quickly to see your power to use your powers early or wait to unleash them at full strength. Your path to victory is full of choices and combined tactics. With its wide variety of spell combinations, you can play hundreds of unique games of Spellbook. There's the contents, there's that time, player count, and age. Here's an example of the components. Let's open this bad boy up. So we start off with the rule book. Here's your contents. Your materia in your seven different colors and there's three different rune types the goal of the game here's your setup your first game you're going to play with the one star future games can two three or you can mix them in a classic game here's your game turn those are kind of sticking in my hand more of the game turn spells the altar, the game end, glossary of terms, all the red spells, the purple spells, the green spells, the black spells, the white spells, the blue spells, the yellow spells, designer and artwork, and your solo mode and frequently forgotten rules. All right, first up we have the familiars. And on the back is the solo board. And a winged cat. He's the only one that doesn't have wings. So as you can see, different or the player boards for the solo on the back are all the same. Basically, when you play the solo on your turn, you're going to take your turn and then their turn. You're just going to put a materia here. When you get to these icons here, you're going to reset the altar. You have in either until you trigger the game end or until something gets put here. And then they get the visible one, so this, in that instance it'd be 40. And if anything gets put down here, they get one for each one of those. All right, you have a first player token. This is that altar. This is the materia discard. You did have to build this, and they supplied this clear sticker tape thing to hold it in place but as you're using the material you're just going to throw it in this cool little thing you have the bag of materia so colors don't come across well on camera but these uh, this is really nice looking it is a larger bag as you can see i've had no i have my hand in there and i've had no issue pulling them out and in here you'll find your different materia. And these are real nice acrylic, real thick. In fact, I've constantly had them like land like that so they can actually stand up real easily. Really good quality. I was really surprised when I kept looking everywhere. To me, it was, I thought it was just gonna become, become as cardboard, punch board, but these are really good quality, real nice. And you get a bunch of them. There is, I believe, if I remember correctly, 105, 15 of each color, and I'm assuming then five of each rune in each color. So there's all your materia. And then there's four sets of the same thing. Let me, there we go. So this is gonna be one set, and two set, three set, four set, all the same cards. And I will get those laid out for you in one moment and then describe them to you. So here are the 21 cards you get with the spells. And then you do get this player aid that shows you the game turn. Your pool can never have more than nine with Terra. In morning, you're going to take one or draw two or a morning card action. Midday, you're going to take or store one on a familiar board or midday card action. And evening is learn a spell or evening card action. There's lightning bolt, apply the effect, alter, refill, game end, and then that's the back. So if you look at a card closely here, so there's that one star saying you're going to use for your beginning game. 
the card color is the color material you need. So this one you need yellow. And then these little icons here show how many you need to do. So three, four, five. In this instance, it's gonna be an instant effect when you do it, which is draw three from the bag. And these are end of game points. Some of them have these icons. So you'll notice when you look at the player aid, you have the evening, which means instead of doing that one spell for this, you can do one of these actions if you have the materia on it. This would be discard and move stuff up a track. This one has no power, but as you're going up here, so you place a rune, and then that rune would be wild. You can only ever cast a spell once, so if you cast it on the lower level, you can't then cast it at a higher level later on, but this one does allow you to push that up. These ones work on midday, and these are morning. And then when you go down to the level twos, they start getting a little bit more complicated, a little more involved of cards. And then of course your level threes will be a little bit more higher than that. This infinity symbol means it's always an effect if you have something there. Really like the artwork, it looks really cool. Really fits the theme. All right, so that is all that is in Spellbook. I am now going to go cast enchantments. Doo -doo 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 -doo.